bloody summer? There's the bloody summer. Where is it? Eh? I should be sat outside there with a pair of shorts on, eh? drinking uh, margaritas or, uh, I don't know, cider, lager. Uh, thankfully, I've got the cider and lager. Uh, just expecting summer to come. <sighs> Unfortunately, summer's not here. This is uh, June in Northumberland in the UK, and this is just what we've got to put up with. Oh, man. I've done... <laughs> <laughs> Loads of people are doing mods to that tent at the minute. So you know what? If everybody else can mod, I can mod my tent. Do you want to see me mods for me tent? Ah, well then. Let's do it. So we have a rather expensive piece of kit there. Uh, that is all in. That is a £500 tent. No, 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 no. I didn't get drunk and have a night uh, of uh, spendthriftery on the internet. Well, actually, I did a little bit. Well, no, I bought it sober, but it wasn't like £500. Uh, I paid half price for that. Uh, so let's have a look. Let's have a look. And it does, the pitch is really solid. Winds up here aren't much. I mean, what, 10s, 15s at the minute, max? Probably a bit less. So there we go. That looks like a weather station. All that's missing is a couple of satellite dishes. Uh, and I would probably get Studio Canal on there, wouldn't I? Certainly Channel 5. Dear me, if ET landed just over on yonder cairn, uh, I probably wouldn't bat an eyelid. I'd say, how are you in, you little dumpy little freak? Uh, that'll make two up the other night. <laughs> so there we go. Right then, oh yeah, let's see what we've modded. Uh, obviously, we've got yonder... <laughs> we've got yonder satellite station here. So I've used one of my trekking pools just to pull the side out nice. I've got a new bit of kit tonight. Uh, you'll see why I want the side pulled out nice uh, in a couple of minutes. So I now flash there, as you can see. Always bring a nice bit of lightweight uh, extra cordage with us. As Loma Annie likes to call it, guy, rope. <laughs> I keep telling her it's not rope, Annie. Uh, it's lane. But no, she doesn't listen. <laughs> She'll kill us for that. So this is the Kuyu, the Summit Star. Uh, and if you haven't seen any of my videos before, this is uh, the Kuyu Summit Star. It is a one kilogram uh, ultra light uh, track and pool shelter. Or you can buy a pool to go with it, a 10 mil uh, Eastern Aluminium pool to go with it. So this was my first time out trying one of these. I'll be honest, I've got a lot of love for it now. And especially seeing that was how I'm known I can play with it uh, and pitch it uh, and make it a bit more stable. But I'm not, wait, it was stable, it was very stable. I'm a, I'm a girl that doesn't like a lot of rustle in the tent, yeah? Don't like any rustles in tents. <laughs> I'm a single lady and that's how it's staying. I'm having no tent rustling. So yeah, uh, one of the things for me is a, a nice quiet tent. So how are you? Let's see your little, your little mod there, Donna. Mod number one, we have a top clip. Just pulls that out a little bit. Gives it a nicer shape, doesn't it, eh? Nice end. And that was your other mod there, was that? And it's nice just for it to be out and play with the tent, I'll be honest, isn't it? It's what we do, isn't it? We'll come out, there's no point in sitting in the tent uh, without playing with it. So there, Donna's uh, peculiar shaped Kuyu Summit Star. I mean, if you look at it from there, and then you look at it from there, it hardly looks like the same tent, does it? But it is, uh, it's a peculiar thing, but for one kilogram, it feels solid inside, it's, it's spacious, got nice head height, uh, I, I, I'll be honest, I, I fell in love with it. Right, how are you, let's have a look in, I'll show you my new, my new little present to myself. Uh, so, how are you, scan into Donna's little pit. Oh, she even brought a table out while I was there in the night. Bit salad there with a knife, a mug, cider, precious things. Donna, what's that? Who's in there, Donna? No one. I've got myself a new sleeping bag. Oh, man, it's bloody lush. It is absolutely lush. Look at that. REI. Uh, it's REI Co-op Magma 15 from America. I tell you what, I got a cracking good price on that, even after I paid the customs. Let's go in and have a look. 
He has mod number three. You like this one, eh? Watching this one, Dave Border Rambler. It can't pick out because that's there, stopping it folding back and uh, going into its little uh, clippy, clippy thing, yeah? It's a little hook and loop thing. That would be ideal, but it would mean it's running a line or something at the end of the tent. So what we do is we roll it. Nice and snug. Always bring one of these bad boys out with you. Where are we? Yes. Yeah, 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 yeah. I'm sure everyone has those at home. Yeah? Quite simply do that. Jobs are good. <laughs> you are welcome. So I'm just sat looking at my nice view. And I've been joined by someone. <laughs> Shall we have a look? Bloody cheeky aunt. Yeah. Drunk on cider. Oh, hold on, there's his pal. Yeah. His pal's. His pal's pissed now. His, <laughs> his pal doesn't know what he's doing. <laughs> he's gone the wrong way. Oh, which way's home? Which way's home? He doesn't know. This guy. <laughs> this guy, he, uh, he's a session aunt. <laughs> Tell you what, eh? Give him a mile and they'll take an inch. Oh, so the other way around, isn't it, eh? Yeah. Ants rimming me cider. Let's see that guy going. Oh, he's lost it. He's away home. <laughs> I love it. Back to the ant. Yeah, we have ridiculously drunk ant. He's legless. Look, he's really drunk. I might have killed an ant there. Look, look he's crawling. Yeah. Back, back to the cider. We don't. Right, we're going to try and save the ant. Are we? Fight and talk. How are you, lad? Go on. Go on. Party's over. Come on. Party's over. Now off you go home. Your mum will be wondering where you are. Go on. You can't kill ants because they'll get the scent on you and then they'll all come looking for you. So you've got to be very nice with ants. How are you, lad? Come on. How are you? Here we go. You know, we just gently push them. I hope they're not going around the back and up my pants. Ah. Come on, get your bugger. Go on. Check there's no ants on your, on your cider. Eh? Cheers. That is a tomato and mozzarella a tortellini from Morrison's. I've got one of them stirring saucers. I've just popped it in a little plastic container I had handy. So I'll be stirring that through. That'll be my tea. Uh, flush. There's what looks like a chinned Budweiser or two. Uh, and then the my side has been chinned off the ants. I love the countryside, haven't you? And then the best thing with the stir-through sauce is you just stir it through, you don't have to heat it. Then we're gone. Stir through, splashed on the sides, in my tum, yum, flipping, yum. There's the restaurant shot. Actually, a salad with a cheese mozzarella, tortellini, in a sun-dried tomato stir-through sauce. And a couple of chunks of beetroot and mayonnaise, eh? Happy days. Yes. Right, and last tip for tonight is uh, doing the dishes. Yep, I have cut that bad boy down. Uh, you know those bags you get out of your lateral flow tests? And 
I mean, most of you were just doing lateral flows at home just for to check that we didn't have COVID. I had to do them for work. I still have to do them for work. Uh, I end up with a lot of these little bags. So I do like to try and use them where possible. Uh, in there is a, a really thin piece of sponge scourer. And you know what else I've done? I've preloaded that yeah, with a little bit of fairy liquid. Popped it in that bag. That's for doing my dishes. Yeah. Uh, nice little tip there for you. Preloaded. Micro cut to a bit of green scourer. The loft on this new sleeping bag is ridiculous. <laughs> Watch! <laughs> Look at that! Yeah. <laughs> Thankfully, I brought a Tyveg bag liner in case of condensation uh, because that is most definitely touching the mesh netting. <laughs> oh god, I absolutely love REI sleeping bags. I'll maybe give you a little sleeping bag talk tomorrow. Uh, but for now, it's ciao! That's not too that's not too bad a, a tent door view, is it? Uh, yep. That's the sound of summer. Have we we've got three months of this? Uh, yeah, I'm gonna get my sleeping bag. It's nearly ten ish. Uh, I'm gonna just lie back, relax and enjoy it. I love that sound, absolutely love it. I'll see you in the morning. Night guys, night peeps. Little day reporting from Upper Hill in Northumberland, uh, up an Ant Hill in Northumberland. And I'm happy. Morning peeps. Oh, it's a noisy tent. Winds are going to the Met, oh, 70 miles an hour. Gusting it near a 30. Uh, I'm on boggy heather pitch, so centre pool here uh, has sunk in a little bit. If it was a bit uh, higher, I don't think the tent would flap as much. Never mind, it is what it is. I gotta get up, I gotta coffee back down with the lingo. Uh, let's see what the day brings. There's no point in sitting up here in the wind, is there? Hold on. Oh. Morning, eh? with a vision of absolute loveliness. Eh? Uh, yeah, I'm gonna get packed up, uh, get back down the hill. I'm about 40 minutes off the lingo. I'll get myself a, a coffee and some of the eat down there and, and a bit of comfort. Lovely, relaxing night, nice bit crack on with the people on Facebook. Hello, my Facebook friends. Uh, and if you're not one of my Facebook friends, uh, jump on, join the, join the crew. Right. <laughs> Mm -hmm. In a bit. Blows, blows, no trees, never is, even ruffled the grass back up. I'm getting off the hill, it's super windy. Uh, I'll see you later. Doodles! As always, thanks very much for tuning in. Thanks for taking the time to watch. You guys rock. I'll catch you on the next one, hopefully next week. Uh, hopefully out with the law, my lady. Oh, a new hat.